Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the online edition of the Singapore Garden Festival 2021. My name is Natalie, and this afternoon, we will be spending time doing some floral art. I have here with me in the studio today, Mr. Harianto Sitiawan. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming and joining us here today. And for those tuning in for the first time, we are in good hands because Harianto is well recognized for his talents in the floral industry. He's been awarded Best Florist for several years by Singapore Tatler. He's the ambassador for Floral Fundamentals, an establishment in Holland. And in international flower shows, he's the gold medalist for Sanya Orchid Flower Show in China, as well as Best Colors awardee for the Goyang Flower Festival. I'm really grateful that um, I'm able to share my knowledge here. And I would love to uh, have this afternoon with a lot, definitely a lot of flowers. So what is that the most difficult to do flowers? Some people always ask me. I always believe, oh, everybody definitely able to do it. Just no matter how much effort we want to do it and how we want to do it. On this afternoon also, I would love to thanks to National Parks with the conjunction of the launch of Singapore Garden Festival. Definitely, this is the time for all of us to be together again to wait for the most beautiful flower show, which is Singapore Garden Festival next year. Okay, without further ado, let me introduce some of the flowers that I want to use today. Okay, in this afternoon, I would love to have about four to five arrangements that actually uh, arrangement that some of them actually we can find the containers or we can find also some of the flowers from our garden. Regardless, of course, we can find some of the flowers from the supermarket, from the wholesalers, also some of the uh, 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 wet market that sometimes we can get it. Okay, in my first piece here, I would love to present you this something that um, quite um, easy to do indeed that actually we have a plank of wood that I spray with a black color. The best to spray this we have to use actually is matte color. Yeah. So what is this? The small, small thing here actually is emery flowers. It's a lot grown in Japan, especially in Fukuoka. So this is the most beautiful flowers that I think fascinated me. They, they call it emery. Actually, it dried up nicely and it can be colored beautifully. So what I do here, actually we need vessel. What is the vessel here? Actually a place to contain water. So how doing it? Actually it's pretty simple. We have this um, uh, uh, glass tube or actually a test tube or a pharmacy tube that actually we can do it uh, in any sizes. So for this, we I pick up is 12 centimeters, but if your flower bigger or your flower smaller, you can even decide with certain sizes, yeah? So, how to do this? Actually, we have wire. The best wire to do this, actually, wire number 16. Why 16? Some of you is new in the floristry. I will share this. So, actually, the guts are actually the size of the wire. The bigger the size, actually, the thinner of the wire. So if you have this small size 16, we start for floristry, even sometimes we have 12 for certain construction, which is very thick. But 16 or 18 is the best to do for a structure or to support any kind of vessel. So we wrap it of the uh, uh, tube actually with the wire or we call it aluminium wire. It comes in many colors. Some of them come in copper color like this. Some of them come in gold color or silver color. Okay, let's start this flower arrangement uh, using this uh, vessel, which is actually a glass tube or actually a pharmacy tube. Yeah. Before that, we have to fill up some of this tube with water. What is the best water to use? The best actually is clean water. You can use tap water. How to make this even lasting for the flowers? Of course, we can use some flora vitamin that you can buy from supermarket or you can buy from wholesalers. This is prolong the lifespan of the flower itself. So we need also this container to be clean, definitely. Sometimes we can use bleach and to clean up the, uh, 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 this uh, container that able to contain the water. 
The cleaner the water, the lifespan of the flower will last longer. Okay, so it's just very easy. You just put it a little bit, some of them in the tube and just leave it until 60%. Why we don't fill up until full? Because when you have the flower, sometimes the flower is heavy and it will spill up. So I think the best way, just moderately you put about 60% uh, from the high, then you start to do the flower arrangement. Okay. In this afternoon, of course, Singapore Garden Festival is we love orchid. So definitely we want to uh, combine, which is I'm combining here actually orchid with other type of flowers. I want to show that how flexible, how lovely orchid to mix together with other flowers. Then you can imagine that actually, oh, Singapore is orchid city. That's, oh, we can use that kind of orchid, this kind of orchid. I think, okay, the orchid that we want to use this afternoon for this piece, actually I'm using this uh, Phalaenopsis family. I love this very much because you can see the vein or can see the nerve, which is actually is uh, the color is a bit yellow, maroon, and a little bit kind of a purple color. Yeah. So for this, I would love to cut it and trim it a little bit. And we have to know where are we putting this uh, art piece which is in the center table arrangement or 180 degree, which is only for the audience. So I would love to put here, which is actually uh, something that is facing to your side, that actually something that as a focal point, then something that is very beautiful to show as a focus. As the complement, we have this. Actually, this is Diantus Barbata Screen Trick or in the carnation family. I love this piece very much because it can stay very well in the normal tap water, can stay up to three weeks. That's why I encourage some of you, sometimes you want to beautify your dining room, your washroom, you can use this. Just put in the a small glass container or uh, extra wine bottle or beer bottle even. You just put it and this is beautiful. It looks like a moss, but actually indeed it is is carnation family. Yeah. Remember, when you cut the flowers, very important, watch out your fingers. And of course, you have to cut slant. Because when you cut slant, actually when you cut slant, you will create a bigger surface. The bigger the surface, the more water can be absorbed to the flowers. The flowers or the foliage will last longer. Okay, so I'm doing this. So even I'm using very practical, we call it is like student scissors. But indeed, it's very sharp and very useful. So sometimes don't underestimate whatever that you have from your home. That actually you can do it. You even you can use a kitchen scissors to do flowers. So nothing to stop you to start creating from your own garden. Okay, so now we, I'm putting this uh, Diantus. Why I'm choosing this? Diantus. If you see in the floristry, it is good to have something that matching or something similar. I pick up this shape, actually it's a little bit like a ball. Then the Diantus is a ball, which is, they call it, is something rhythm, something that, uh, 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 something that um, synchronized quite well from the shape, transform it to the other shape, yeah. So again, I'm using again this, so let's put it. Very dynamic, some high, some low. Yeah. So it's not that difficult, right? Then yeah, we are creating something very happy. Of course, now we have this one is anemone, is in season, is from Holland to accompany orchid. I love this because of the colors and the shape is very dainty, very soft. Looks fragile, but actually it is definitely a good friend with orchid in this arrangement. So if you see here, we have also a little bit kind of uh, purple. I like it's very huge and this is definitely my favorite, especially for the wedding uh, uh, decoration. Definitely it's a statement. Yeah, so this, uh, the purple anemone that I'm putting here. So you will be able to see from two sides. Later I show you when I turn around. 
And we have this lysianthus or eustoma. Some people call it eustoma. Some people, they call it lysianthus. That actually the same. That actually this is the flowers. Yeah. So I put the peach color here. We start slot in to the vessel one by one. And people sometimes ask, is it okay to put two more or three more than flowers to put in the same vessel or the same tube? Yes, you are allowed. But remember, you must keep topping up the water. Make sure that the water supply is enough to make sure that the flowers is last longer and can stay until the duration of the lifespan. Yeah. So, some people also, oh, how if I have other question or I have something inquiry that I'm not so clear about this uh, 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 arrangement. Later on, definitely we will have the question and answer session that you can ask at the end of the session. Yeah. So, no worries. I'm still here. Then definitely I will answer as much as I can. Then this is Veronica. If you see this Veronica, is very slim. They come in the two colors. It's not, I think, is uh, 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 not the best season for Veronica, but I still managed to get this uh, purple and pink just to give a little bit kind of dynamic and something that uh, quite cute. Actually, give the linear line the same with the emery that we have here. Okay. okay. Start filling up. Remember that every tube must have flowers. And this is my favorite. Actually, they call it panicum grass. Or in USA, they call it explosion grass. So this is definitely like firework celebration. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this explosion grass is, uh, will grow broader when it's definitely enough water supply. Okay, so I take out the leaf because the leaf is um, giving a little bit uh, out of the shape. Yep. Giving something like meadow, something very soft here. Okay, then now for the last piece that I want to add up actually. This is a lot actually in Africa also. They call it Talinum. This Talinum actually is also the same language. If you see the detail actually have plenty of brown ball or like bubbles that actually resemble of the emery here. So actually in doing flower arrangement, sometimes when you don't know how to pick up the flowers or pick up the colors, easy. You choose something similar or something that almost in the same family, the colors, and you can also pick up certain the same shape. That's easier for you to, to grab the language of the uh, arrangement. So I'm putting this a little bit higher to give the volume and to give uh, uh, the high. So we have to slot in some of them in few different places to give a three-dimensional look. That's very important to give a three-dimensional look because it creates definitely more depth and giving more effect to the flower arrangement. Remember, you have to keep checking your uh, flower arrangement. Every day, you have to water a little bit with a fresh water. Not ice water, but lukewarm water or tap water is better. Why? Because ice water will close up the pores and the flower did not able or won't be able to drink enough water. Yeah. Okay. I almost finished my first piece. Then I will show you when I turn around. So this is the my first piece. Yeah. So I just clean up a little bit of the leaf here because it's nature. Sometimes it's drop. Then you able to see this piece for my first piece. 
Okay, so if I have to title this piece because according to my title is inspiration. Actually, my inspiration actually when I see this uh, meadow, when I travel to New Zealand, I see so many beautiful flowers and wild but still a little bit manicured. So I call it this is looks like manicured garden. So something that a little bit kind of sweet, but of course. Orchid is the focus in this uh, arrangement. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's move to the second piece. My second piece actually is my inspiration for the second piece. I'm very much... Uh, my inspiration is about party. So sometimes when we want to have party at home and we say, oh, what we have to do to, to decorate up our table or the corner of the, arrange, uh, uh, the table arrangement. So what I'm going to do here, actually what I'm using here, the same. This is actually is test tube. This test tube actually uh, 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 the same with, with the test tube, but what is the different? I'm using gold leaf. Gold leaf is one of my favorite um, uh, material that I always use that actually always using for gilding or they put for the painting. So if you see here, it's metal leaf, is in the gold color. It come also in the copper color, also come also in the silver color, or even sometimes in a different type of kind of gold colors. Okay, how to apply this is pretty simple. What you need to do is only you spray with a glue. It says it uses the spray glue and you just roll it in the foil or they call it gold foil so you able to do this if you ask me what is that actually uh, uh, this piece actually i found this material from my warehouse that actually this one is the pipe actually to wrap a pipe for the uh, electricity or sometimes that they throw away after the casing finish then i cut it off then i'm able to do this as a resemble or as a, a recycle from the electricity pipes. So what is this? This is actually reed. Reed actually is the kind of stem. It's not sapulidi or people say, is it for sweep? Yeah, almost the same but not the same. The different, the ikar also call it in Sri Lanka, they call it ikar but it's actually, this is not from the coconut uh, leaf or from the uh, pandan leaf, whatever, but this is really red. It's a lot grown actually in the Middle East. When you see there, actually also we saw a lot of this, the red actually grown nearby to the desert. That actually like, um, um, when I saw this, actually they not treated that actually this is just natural color. In the market, sometimes you see other colors, but I love to use this uh, natural color. Okay, what I'm using here, of course, um, something that to complement this, I'm using this actually is the clematis. Clematis is grown a lot in Africa. If you see this flower, it looks very fragile, but in the reality, it can last for few uh, days, at least one week when you keep changing the water, beautiful. Uh, uh, routinely or I think you can use them by itself uh, so you can see if I turn to this way you will be able to see the the clay matis. okay so we just make one run so I assume or I imagining that this actually is for a birthday party for my best friend so this is the best gift, this inspiration actually to give them something very impressive, something very unusual and something lively. So in the center, of course, you see, I put a battery candle. So they actually to give a little bit more, um, boost up the feeling that, hey, this is party, it's happy party. Of course, we have here um, Phalaenopsis, the mini one, one of my favorite because this is definitely uh, something that very delicate, I would love to say, and very lasting. I really love to use this kind of uh, type of phalaenopsis, especially for bridal work too. So for me, I just put it um, somewhere like this. Yeah. 
So let me twirl it a little bit. So the good thing about this uh, structure, so call it from reed or from the stem, actually able to hold the flower well wherever you want to to get it. So actually even can support the flower well. So just do a little bit gentle because this one definitely need to stand pretty well. Okay, now you can see this. And um, I take again one more phalaenopsis to go to the other side for this. Yeah. So you will see this is Colors is very important in doing the flower arrangement. That's why sometimes people ask me, Harianto, how you pick up the colors? I think number one is colors is very sensitive for me, something very individual because each of you have preference color. Some of you, you like bread color, some of you love a pastel color, some of you like just very muted colors, uh, and some of you even want very colorful. But for me, I personally, for this uh, arrangement, my team actually is something that a little bit monochromatic, a little bit kind of purple on purple, or tone of wine on wine, something that very kind of, you know, sophisticated for, for dinner. That's why we have candle, gold, something a little bit royal. And we have uh, also here panicum, the same with the first piece. This giving the softness or the texture will be a little bit more uh, natural. For this, I don't really remove the leaf. I'm just using one leaf. So let it flow a little bit, giving a little bit of something to uh, fall down. Then, of course, I'm using again anemone here. So if you see the anemone here, yeah, the anemone is come in a very blast and um, the colors also have a lilac touch, the same with this uh, arrangement. So I'm putting here as delicate flowers, anemone, combined with the orchid. I think this is will be definitely uh, good for table centerpiece for the dinner. And especially during the festive season is coming. You can do this for Christmas also when you change the color. And you can also doing this for kid party when you put something at the bottom of the this giant plate. So it's very light. Recycle what you can do from something that people has used before. And you just keep adding the flowers to make the function working. Okay, now what next from this arrangement? Okay, so what I'm going to do here after finish this arrangement, I think that's enough, beautiful. I have a little bit of uh, a nice find that actually is jasmine. This is jasmine, it's very beautiful and have very beautiful smile. I think it's for the party. It's very mild smile, it's very... Um, uh, beautiful to give ambience, something like very aromatic or like aromatherapy with jasmine, but it's not too much normally the, the fragrance because sometimes will kill the palate of the people who love to drink wine or alcohol. They like it normally, it's no pollen and of course no fragrance. Yeah, But this is very mild fragrance and I just want to create a little bit more three-dimensional when I turn it slowly here. Then I think Yasmin definitely, Jasmine is definitely something very tropical and something very good to combine together with the orchid. If you see the detail, it's very delicate. And how about putting this little bit of this grass? This call it green dragon or lapidium. Lapidium is very good also uh, as a fillers, even though people say, oh no, lapidium can be the main flowers, but of course, it's no flowers here, but it's something that is definitely something very linear, something very soft, and something quite boozy. So this is good for uh, fillers as a complement for the flowers. How to finish up this arrangement? How does it function? Okay, so now, 
After finish, we adjust how this one, how you want to do. If you think this too tall, even you can trim. But for me, I love to be happen for this design, which is this is the core and this is the flower. Then this is the continuation of the structure. For this, I'm putting an apple, which actually I prepare apple already. So this is good to match this uh, foliage or the leaf to match with the arrangement. So just replace, display some apples here. Just display naturally for some of you who want to go for diet. Yeah, so this is very good to have some apple here. So basically, healthy life, go green and go for party. Yeah, yeah. If you do now, we have to stay at home because of the COVID. But well, at home also you can decorate up here when you have guests for two person. It's something impressive, something that something memorable to go for party. Okay, well done. Not for me, for every of you who watch this uh, uh, um, uh, piece, I hope you get inspired and um, hope this uh, piece definitely will be able to resonate or to, to give you a little bit more uh, 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 inspiration when you want to do party. Okay, let's move to the third one. Okay, hope you like it. Okay, my third piece is... Okay, let's move to my third piece. My third piece actually is something is more practical or some people say it, okay, more commercial, which actually I love to do it is green on green. Green on green is actually is the most difficult indeed in the floral uh, arrangement that actually you have to do it everything mixing green on green. Okay, what we have here, we have a little bit of succulent that actually or aloe vera for me, I just put it here. Yeah. So we start with uh, some of the foliage. Yeah. Of course, we still have to do with orchid because we love uh, orchid and Singapore is plenty of orchid. So what we are doing here actually is manicured also botanical in the very vertical uh, manners. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have this uh, group of Amima juice, yeah? yeah. Some of this confused like which one Amima juice and which one of the Amifisnaga. The different actually is the flower itself. Some of them very frill and very tiny that Amima juice. Some of them in the big bag or slightly bigger. That's they call it Amifis Naga. So I love this because it's very kind of tall. Yeah. Okay. So we have also Setaria. Setaria is kind of grass. Yeah. Or ornamental grass. So we have this. Yeah. So. No worries, some of you say that, oh, I'm the first timer, I want to do flower arrangement. I always encourage all of them who is the first timer because I say, you never try, you never know. Yeah, because some of you definitely, you have a hidden talent. Yeah, so this, of course, I'm using succulent for this. The succulent, I have already put wire and in the chopstick or satay stick, I also put it at a bottom to just give a little bit of texture. Of course, we have also here. So this is the Aplan, yeah, Aplan family. So also I'm putting it also the other side. So now I'm start filling up with something a little bit wilder. And we have type of a Tesmatium family or this they call it a little bit kind of grass, something very wild, something very um, um, versatile for doing the tall arrangement. So you see, it's free flow and just make it beautiful. Where is this piece can be 
done or can be placed. The best for this actually, if you have house for your entrance or maybe at the corner of your uh, console table or even some of you, you can put it at the top of the wall piano. I think that will be a uh, perfect enough to, to be put, yeah? So, very important also in doing this arrangement, we need to cover up the bottom. The bottom, what we want to use actually, if you see this, actually it is, is Creptomaria. Actually, Creptomaria is the family of the pine because pine and very lasting, very aromatic, looks like some of the herb, but actually it's pine. And very last thing, I really love this uh, uh, foliage or leaf because it's definitely giving a texture and the duration, the lifespan is pretty long. See? So, remember, when you do flower arrangement, you, when you feel, oh, I don't want to place it here, but I want to place it other side. I think, just leave it because every uh, position actually is your creativity. Nothing wrong in doing flower arrangement because the most important, this flower arrangement, make yourself happy. That's very, very important in the rules in doing flower arrangement, whatever that make yourself happy. Yeah. So now I'm filling up with a little bit of panicum. Yeah, here. We cut a little bit of crypto Maria still here to cover the front part. When you ask me like how you want to do this arrangement from behind, but we want to show you in front, actually we need a lot of practice. Last time when uh, I started to do flower arrangement and teaching a lot, actually I always doing it myself in the mirror. So at least I see myself, what can I improve from there when I have to talk to the audience. So this is actually is a, need a little bit of practice, like you are driving backwards. Yeah, so this and some of you, you may ask, okay, what we can do here with the rest of the flowers that this in this bucket? No worries, we don't use all because the container is um, only this length. Yeah, it's a very kind of nice container. What I have here, I have this red wing. Red wing actually is something that is very lasting, yeah. Uh, red wing leaf is something that um, giving the depth of the colors, yeah, and giving something that can be enlarged, yeah. This one is filica, is something that very. Um, Delicate, something like million star, but actually this filica a lot from Australia. So filica actually grown something like uh, shrub, but actually this one have tiny, tiny flowers. In Africa also they grow a lot. You can buy this from supermarket. If you don't have this, sometimes also you can use pandan leaf or iris leaf, local iris leaf. This is beautiful also to replace some of this material. Yeah, so I'm finishing up here before I'm putting the main focal flowers, which actually I would like to put after this some orchid, which is, will be the main focus. Okay, after the base almost done, we just need a little bit of touch up, make sure it has more depth. And I'm putting now the main flowers, which actually I have here is Oncidium. Yeah, actually it's like Golden Ram C here. I would have to just place it a little bit here as a focus, not too much. Yeah, then you will see from far, oh, that main flower actually is Oncidium. This one is definitely is very bright yellow and very um, vibrant, something that flowing. And the last one that I want to put actually one stalk of 
Phalaenopsis that actually is matching well with the arrangement. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. This is my um, third piece that, of course, uh, we still can touch up a little bit because some of them, perhaps you still can see the hole a little bit. I trust my fingers, I trust my hand, able to see from the other side. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't turn it because this is very important to trust your finger as your eyes. So, yes. This behind. Remember, when you do flower arrangement also, I can see from behind. Behind, you need to treat also something beautiful. Not because the front side beautiful, but behind you forget how to touch up them. Very important, even you do 180 degree flower arrangement, behind you have to do a perfect finishing. That's how fineness and how beautiful is depend on the finishing too. So, remember, when you do at home, I always say to my friend, doing flower arrangement actually to release your stress, not to make you even more stressed up. So, you just cut, 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 and just make it happen. I think that's the best. If you're not happy, you can drink coffee or tea, then you come back again one hour. Okay, I want to change this arrangement. You are welcome. Because there are no limitation how you want to change the design. As long as you are happy, just do it. Yeah? And this is positive hobby, definitely, doing flower arrangement. Yeah? If you don't have flowers at your home, you can ask your neighbor if they allow you to, to pluck. Yeah? yeah, well... Well, I have a nice neighbor, so sometimes I'm asking. Yeah. Then they always give me. Oh, Harianta, you can take all, but return back to me, become nice flower arrangement, yeah? So it's okay, not for me, for them. Okay. Okay. This is my third arrangement. It's inspired by green on green and also um, something that resemble uh, something like wilder, like very wild, but in other hand also something that very textured, mixing succulent, then mixing also tropical flowers, mixing orchid. So I think that this arrangement, like I show you again, that this how actually orchid is the best friend for any other flowers. So hope you enjoy with this third arrangement. I'm moving to the fourth arrangement now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. My fourth arrangement, if you see here, I believe everybody also have at home something that is a um, very common container that actually is just round container. And this is, of course, we put a foam or oasis. So it's very a simple container and able to get anywhere. Even if you don't have at home this kind of container, you can use uh, your bowl or soup bowl or mini bucket or tin or something like after the cookies, I mean the leftover cookies, uh, teeth, you can use it. Okay, let's start with this. So people always ask me, Haryanto, start with the leaf first or flower first? If you saw me just now or you watched me before, I think it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the result must be beautiful. Okay, cutting hydrangea is very important, must be slant as must be sharp. And make sure that the, the hydrangea, you soak water first before you do the flower arrangement. Because when you soak water, it bloom bigger and will be beautiful to get the most beautiful bloom and open up. Yeah, so we start here. If you see this color, is of course, it's very happy, happy uh, color. We call it a Sunday color. It's very striking, uh, fuchsia, it's purple, and of course we have also this roses. It's actually it's very striking. Um, yeah, so some people ask me, oh, Harianto, how you want to combine this kind of color together? I say, why not? Because this is indeed is a interesting color tone. Yeah, something that totally a little bit different with the first, second, and third piece that I did just now. And of course, we have here 
have lisianthus. So lisianthus or eustoma. I chose this something a little bit lighter. And we have also very nice rose that actually this one is a looks like local rose, yeah, but bloom like it looks like garden rose. Then we have also spray roses. They call it spray roses because in one stem it comes in so many uh, flowers or so many bloom. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Then we have also again hydrangea. Okay. Then we have to fill up a little bit with the delphinium. I love this delphinium very much because of the colors. You just leave it tall and something that start growing there. It's very glamorous and something very kind of uh, opulent, something very full, something very happy. That's up the behind part, so you will see later behind also. It's very important is also the harmony, yeah. We have this uh, roses here. So just make sure whatever you are cutting is everything is full, uh, fully cut, slanting, and able to be used. Don't cut too short if you're not so sure. Because why? After you cut too short, it's very difficult to extend it. But when you cut it a little bit longer, when you did not do it well, is you still able to have the uh, time to repair it. Okay. So I'm finishing this piece. I'm using also this very nice carnation like laces, and this is very lasting. We have a carnation, few pieces, yeah. And then now I'm touching up the bottom part. I'm using the parfifolia. Uh, uh, sorry, this is not parfifolia. It's actually that um, colored uh, eucalyptus. Call it populus berry for this. It's not parfifolia family, but populus family that I'm using this actually is brown color, like cocoa color. Yeah. Okay. So you see in between a little bit. And of course, I'm using the main flowers with the focus, which is phalaenopsis. So for me, I always see that the Phalaenopsis is in front. The color is really, um, put it in between, yeah, to give, if you see here, and one more, of course, to give the dimension fuller at the top. Now, I just want to see from my side a little bit, okay, this still hole is okay. What we are doing is we are putting a little bit more flowers than actually for the center. So checking. Yeah. Yeah. So when you see me to do, it's not because I'm rusting, but of course, sometimes in the commercial world, we have to do many arrangements in the same uh, time with the limited time with so many things that you have to do i think you have to be able to do uh multitasking in doing flowers like from behind from in front i think that is uh, the same just you need a little bit practice i believe you can do it okay my last piece that i want to put inside here actually is the carnation green trick just give a little bit of Texture in the hole that we have already done here. Something like this, yeah. Okay. Just very minor, minor, minor touch up, a little bit. This is very beautiful to put your Sunday brands arrangement, I call it. 
It's very happy arrangement. It's very um, colorful arrangement. Yeah. Okay. So this is the arrangement that I think that is like always brighten up your day and something very um, jovial, very happy. And um, yeah, I really love this arrangement personally. Like, um, yeah, if I give to my best friend, I think this is the arrangement that to cheer up the day. Yeah, okay. So this is my last arrangement for today. So I really hope all of you enjoy. And um, of course, uh, if you have any feedback, you have any question, you can throw the question to me because I think that is the very uh, uh, important to, to, to inspire each other. So some people say, what is the secret of doing flower arrangement? I think indeed it's no secret. The most important that you share the knowledge, then let your friend or your colleague or even your uh, whoever they are like, able to do it also. Because beautiful thing we have to share. Yeah, okay. Let me check the question for today. Yeah, okay. 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 Can you spell the name of the green moss like plant? Or other flora. Okay, this one is Su Feng Xiu asked me about this question. Thank you so much for the question. Okay, the name of the green one that actually like most this one, yeah. The name is Dianthus Barbatus Green Trick. The name is very long, like Hariantos Diawan, that's very long. Yeah, so I can spell it D I A N T H U S. Then another word is Barbatus, B-A-R-T-A, uh, sorry, B-A-R-B-A-T-U-S, Barbatus. Then the next word is the breed, actually green trick. Green trick is the, uh, 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 the, the name of the flowers, yeah, green trick, T-R-I-C-K, yeah, green trick, G-R-E-E-N-T-R-I-C-K, okay, hope. This question is answered. Then, of course, you ask also. Um, yeah, I think that's your question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I will uh, take this. Is Okay. So, another question is coming here. How are the tube and the tiny pink flowers secured in the plank? Very good question. I love this question. Okay, the tube and the tiny pink, actually, we need a drill. I always love to get the carpenter drill that is chargeable. It is very affordable in the market and you're able to go to hardware shop. So normally for me, I just need to charge for three hours to get the battery full. Then you start to drill. But the set of the drill that you buy from hardware shop, it doesn't come with the bit, small bit. They always come in the common bit. So you must get yourself the bit you can get for 0, uh, 2 mm, 1 mm, or even half mm. It's very small bit, then you're able to drill it. When you drill it, then you're able to poke it. Without glue, is no magic, you can stick it there. The same for the tube, the vessel for the tube, or pharmacy tube, uh, or glass tube, you can do it. But for glass tube, because we need to secure it, what we need actually is a thicker wire. So a thicker wire, which is mean wire number 16. So what you need here to drill it actually is maybe the uh, 1.5 mm or 2 mm drill bit to do it. Okay, hope this will, uh, 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 this is, will be uh, the answer and you are happy with the answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay. Um, May I know what are the tiny pink ones that are there already before you started the webinar? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, the small, small flowers, 
that actually these small small tiny flowers actually is dread flowers it call it ameri yeah ameri flowers actually come in the pack yeah come in the pack is type of dread flowers these ameri flowers come in many colors but these ameri flowers i really love because it looks fragile looks very dainty but it's very strong if you go to japan actually you go to the some of I don't say to the other shop, but it's like some in the flower market and, and definitely they will sell some of this. Even when you go Korean flower market, you will see this. If you buy locally, uh, you can go to some wholesalers. Some of them they carry, but some of them they don't carry. So the best you can check from them online, you can get it. The name is Ameri, A-M-E-R-Y. Yeah, this Ameri flowers. Okay, so... Um, I think I will move to the next question because we still have time. I'm really blessed that I'm thankful that all of you uh, ask many questions. Okay. A question from Helen Lim. She asked me, like, is generally more lasting flowers uh, or water? Must we change water daily? Okay. This is... Uh, it's very good question. So, okay, when you do flower arrangement in the glass or in the clean container, the best every day you must change the water and you have to trim it each of the stem at least one centimeter shorter and cut it slant and put flower food, you know, flower food. We have, uh, I mentioned to you before, it has so many flower food. Uh, in the market but if you don't have flower food in the market it's pretty easy you can just put a little bit of sprite or uh, sugar with a little bit also of bleach you know bleach because they need to clean up the germs so make sure that the ants won't attack the flower itself because uh, ant normally doesn't like to go to the uh, uh, um, uh, bleach or they don't like to go to the even that like antibacterial kind of liquid but you must put a little bit of sugar sugar just a little bit maybe just half teaspoon of sugar with one liter of water but the best actually if you want to be a little bit diluted you can put sprite on it sprite drink not coca-cola yeah or not grip uh, 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 fanta because the color will be changed the best spread, just like one third can of spread, you can mix it with uh, one liter of water. Of course, spread also can promote, I'm not promoting spread, but it's like this uh, spread able to promote the bloom of the flowers faster and bigger. Okay, I still have a few minutes. I will answer the next question. Hope this, Helen, I answer your question. Hope it's clarified. Okay, the next question. Okay, how, very good question. This one, I have to give you the answer. How do you change the water in the test tube vessel without disturbing the floral arrangement? This is very good question. It's very difficult, basically, uh, when you top up without disturbing the flowers. Definitely, we just keep topping up because we can't really uh, 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 um, uh, move the flower arrangement. So sometimes the tip that I learned when I was in Japan, actually some of the floral designers, they use a long, uh, so call it brass, mini brass, or they call it a mini, uh, 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 call it a, like, like, like cotton bud, something like that. So actually they are dip it inside and clean up a little bit there that after that they do suction like something like this so you leave it empty and suck it up and after that you have to have two one to suck it up and the other one with the long nose we have this with the long nose and after that you fill up again with the new one so this one definitely doesn't touch the stem of the uh, 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 the whatever flowers in the vessel or in the pharmacy or glass tube of course, this is tedious work, but sometimes it's very good because we don't want the glass tube to look moldy. If this is uh, exposed with the wire, example, of course, you would be able to see, but if something like that we cover with the gold leaf, you won't be able to see. So I hope this clearly answered 
Yeah, so I will move to the next question. The next question is, okay, hi Mr. Hari. You hope you could introduce you could introduce your Hari Bana. What is the characteristic and the basic technique for your signature style? Wow, this is all set here, but I have to answer. Okay, basically Hari Bana was born during COVID period, then first lockdown because I don't know what I have to do at home. Then um, I think that the because Holland market was closed and we have to demolish so many flowers in Holland because I'm the floral uh, fundamental ambassador. So like I heard that everything must be demolished. So very sad. The so supply in Singapore is very low. So actually, because I love Ikebana, but I'm not truly certified Ikebana. So what I'm going to do actually at that time, I say, oh, let me create something that very structural, something very me because I was studied architecture before. So it is actually Haribana is interpretation of Ikebana to Haryanto style. So Haribana will born next year, hopefully, now still in the womb. So I will launch my third book for next year. We call it Haribana. Just wait and see. But it's definitely characteristic and style definitely is architectural. And I think Haribana, the concept always be, when you take out any flowers, what is the lunch charge to stand to get the style? So can be just one stick of flowers and one stick of foliage or in other form that actually to form architectural uh, 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 feature. Yeah, thank you. That is the... Uh, answer the next the next uh, question I still have to question to answer now because time is very tight yeah okay the next one how do you determine the length of the stock to cut any simple rules to have different length for arrangement okay this is very interesting question also how you, do you determine the length of the stock to cut Okay, okay. you must see the container that you have or the vessel that you have or the flower fast that you have because how to cut short, how to cut long actually is subject to the space that you have at home or how big the arrangement you want it or how last you want to get it. Some of them, they cut it very short. I can cut very short but very compact. But something like that, I can be very broad and very airy. I can cut even longer. So this is neat practice because sometimes uh, 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 you try from the longest first and you cut shorter and shorter and shorter and you see the different. I think that make different and you will answer yourself that, oh, actually for me, when I cut shorter, it is my style. Because very important to do flower arrangement to bring up your own style. Okay. I hope that this answer, uh, the question is answered. So uh, the last question that I have to uh, um, answer here. Okay, let me see. Okay, fresh flower and artificial flowers, what kind of tool is better for it to cut and trim flowers, cutter or shears? Okay, definitely for artificial flowers, People say, oh, doing artificial flowers is easier because can bend anywhere. I say that's not true because artificial flowers is very hard to cut. And um, normally for me, I always use special uh, tools that actually is very thick sears to cut, different with this. This is actually my Ikebana scissors, but this also can cut any kind of uh, metal, actually very sharp. But... Be careful because it's pretty heavy. If not, you used to it, it drop in your leg that will get injured. So this is actually uh, 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 Ikebana uh, scissors. But for my suggestion is that kind of professional wire cutter or normally is something like sears. That is the best for artificial flowers. As for the fresh flowers, the best is just use the simple scissors. I'm not the knife person. I'm a very scissors person. That's why my first lesson in Australia, my student gave me, sir, for you, what? Hello Kitty scissors. Then I still use it until now. I keep it in my office, yeah? That's my history last 20 years, yeah. But it's, this is definitely uh, 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 simple scissors able to cut for fresh flowers. And for the thicker one, you can use professional sears or something that to pruning for the gardening. Okay, so... 
I will love to say thank you so much for everybody. I'm really sorry if I can't answer all your questions here because we have so many questions here. I really uh, appreciate because you really participate. You are sacrificing your this, uh, this afternoon to watch together and, and I'm here with you. Then, of course, to be better, all of us, we have to inspire each other. Okay, thank you so much for this afternoon and Natalie. Oh, thank you, Arianto. Sorry, I got to move. I'm very short. <laughs> Thank you and all the best for Haribana. Thank you so much. Yeah, we are definitely inspired by your works today. And if you are interested in finding out more, we do have more next week for our online programs on gingers, on mints, and uh, various workshops. Find out more on the SGF website online. Thank you very much and see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.